Hey everyone, and today we're going to be doing a video. I'm doing a showcase on five car mods for the game Assetto Corsa for PC. Um, I'll leave links down in the description below for um, each of these mods, um, as well as the contributors and owners to these mods. First up on the mod list today, it's the 2010 Toyota Prius mod by Forceful, updated and edited by Acetyl Land. Like most of the mods put together by Acetyl Land and other contributors, this is a very nice mod. The only thing it could really use um, is a sound, maybe a sound update to give it that hybrid synergy drive um, audio. As far as visuals go, this car is spot on. Up next on the mod list is the 1962 Lincoln Continental. This is a two-in-one mod. It has two packages, the hardtop roof and the convertible roof. Um, if you think this car looks familiar at all, it was the presidential limo for the motorcade of John F. Kennedy. This mod was made by Uncle M and updated and edited by Assetto Land. Got that. What is that tachometer or boost gauge? Maybe a tack? Doesn't seem to have one on the dash. Alright, so first off, what I'm noticing, this car handles like a boat would on land. Bad. This thing is an absolute tank, I can tell you right away. Look at that. Cruising down the street in my 62. And here we have the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 plus MPH version 1.0 by Top Race. Really nicely put together. That back end does look kind of long, elongated than the original Chiron would be. Um, headlights look nice. Headlights look nicely put together. Um, with those two orange stripes on the middle, it is giving it that Grand Theft Auto V kind of vibe. Okay, let's see if we can do a launch control on this. Okay. Car does sound really nice. The car, the engine um, itself, it's got that W16 engine. Quad turbocharged. I can tell right away we're going to have some problems getting this thing up to 300. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be possible for the video today. Yeah, this thing is just flying. Amazing car, amazing mod. Would recommend. That's why I made it in my top five for today's video. Again, I'll leave a link down below for this car also. Here we have the DMC DeLorean from Back to the Future, the series, Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3. Um, this car does come separate, the Back to the Future version and the original DMC 12 stock DeLorean. They come as two separate mods. You will have to go to the website and um, find the original DeLorean if you want that. This is just for the Back to the Future version. This is version 1.01 by Chivas AutoArt. As you can see, this car is really nicely, really nicely put together. Um, all the cords and the wiring in there, um, all the little terminals, everything like it would be in the actual movie. Let's look at that back end again. Look really nice in there. Um, 
all the circuits and everything, um, all that, gadgets and all that. Okay, let's see what this thing's got. Let's see if we can get this baby up to 88 miles per hour. Alright, so right off the bat I can tell this car is slow as sin. Maybe as slow as the Lincoln we reviewed earlier. Let's turn it around and see if we can get up to 88 this way. Alright, so this car is not going to get up to 88, at least on this track, on the drift track that I'm running it on. Um, the mod itself, really nicely put together, would recommend. It is my second to last mod. I have one more next. Again, the links for all these cars will be down in the description. Alright guys, and last up on the showcase today, we have the 2010 Ford Prom Victoria. This is a 4-in-1 mod pack. It has the Police Interceptor, GT500 model, X-Police, and Unmarked variant. This is version 311219 by Bruce Kelt. Again, the link for this car, the package, will be down in the description, as well as the other cars. Myself owning two Ford Crown Vicks in the past, Police Interceptor variants, this does handle quite like the real one would. You get that slippery kind of feel in the rear end. It doesn't exactly lose until you give it... Um, Hell on a really tight corner. Oh. That ends our video for today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, show your friends, and subscribe. Please subscribe so you can see the more, more videos in the future from my brother and I. Keep checking back for more videos. Show your support. Show your friends. And uh, we'll see you next time.